Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Daily Energy Reading, and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate, and if it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate, as that may be meant for someone else. All right, so I have the Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle Deck by John Holland, um, and I'm going to use these, and we're going to look at what you may possibly be struggling with today, what you may need to look at, and possible future energies coming in for you. All right, struggling with, we have this one that has flipped over. That is number 20, the judgment card, and it says blossom. So I feel like it's kind of blossoming into something bigger and something better, but that is what you are struggling with is blossom. All right, what does Capricorn need to look at? Well, we have two that have come out. We have number two, which is listen, and that is the high priestess, and that's about listening to your inner voice, right? Those feelings that you have inside, listening to what your body or your soul or your energy or your gut or whatever you want to call it is telling you inside, listening to that inner voice that's trying to give you a message. And then we have the five of pentacles, okay? Feeling alone, you're feeling alone, okay? Kind of alone here out in the mountains with the moon there maybe you need some alone time because when you have that alone time you're able to listen to what your body is trying to tell you all right that maybe you have so much activity going on around you that you're not listening to it all right future energies for capricorn what do you have for capricorn for future energies i feel like these are just all over the place here Future energies for Capricorn. We have number 17, which is heal, and that is the star card. So healing. All right, bottom of the deck. We have the six of cups, which is simply love. I feel like it's kind of slowing things down, right? Sometimes we expect too much, we put too many expectations on things, and it's almost like we're sabotaging ourselves to begin with because our expectations are so high that they can't really be met, and it's like just doing the simple things, right, and simply loving, finding that connection, those people that those relationships are, are easy. All right, so let's get some tarot. Capricorn, who needs to hear a message? Let's see, we have the Three of Wands and we have the Four of Swords. I feel again, that's kind of, you know, especially with the Four of Swords, calming down, focusing, listening to the inner voice, right? finding direction, all right, so struggling with calming down, struggling with looking towards the future, struggling with the fool energy, struggling with those new beginnings, right, those new directions, what do you need to look at, relationships, but I feel like it's the relationship that you have with yourself, because I feel like you're not listening to yourself about a situation it could be with a relationship we have the king of swords i feel like there may be somebody around you that may be manipulative um i also i don't know i'm just kind of feeling that i feel like you're questioning something you're cre questioning a relationship or a situation yeah <laughs> five of wands going back and forth right you're going back and forth with something and i feel like it has to do with a relationship but i feel like what you need to do it could be that you're feeling alone in a relationship. I and mean, we've all had those where we're in a relationship and we feel like we're alone. We're like, well, technically, you know, you may be married or you're in a relationship, but you're like, you feel like you're just going at it, at it alone. Um, so it could be that. But I also f I feel that you need some alone time to figure out what's going on with you. And to listen to what your inner voice is saying. And then we have the Knight of Cups reaching out. You have to figure that out first. I feel like you're going back and forth with something. 
uh, within a relationship and I almost feel like it's getting the relationship back down to basics and then you're reaching out to communicate with that person to kind of let things go because you become in touch with your inner voice and you're like, okay, I've listened to my inner voice. I want to heal, right? For this future energy, we have healing and you want to heal. What makes you happy? What is your inner voice saying? What do you feel that you need to have happen for you to heal and for you to feel better? Bottom of the deck, we have Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this is something that's going to take some time. I just feel like it's getting back down to the basics. Um, Six of Cups is generally like sharing. They usually have like the hands reaching out. Um, but I feel like it's just getting back to basics. Sometimes we get so caught up in things that we need to ground ourselves. All right, so let's get some more cards here I'm just going to take this one because the whole page of pentacles young new energy and a new perspective I feel is headed your way seeing things from a different perspective looking at things differently knowing that okay if I need some alone time I want to take that alone time to sort through things right so I can find the answers to things for happiness um, six of cups um, Six of Cups. Oh, that Six of Cups. What is the... Oh, Six of Pentacles. I was thinking this was Six of Pentacles. I was thinking differently. Um, the Six of Cups is this one. I get confused sometimes. But I also feel like since I had that energy in my head, I feel like that that it's relevant, you know. Sometimes you just get so caught up in the in the message that, you, you know, it just sort of comes out. And it. I, I don't feel like it always has to be like technically perfect because then that I feel like that defeats the purpose of tarot reading as if you're always because that's how I was in the beginning when I first started reading tarot cards I was like no it has to be exactly the way that each card is saying but I feel like it's definitely you know not only what the cards are saying but what the reader is feeling themselves because I've definitely seen a lot of other readers that don't really represent the cards that are being shown but they sort of are you know they're they're feeling this energy that they're just talking, you know, they're talking through and they're following that. Um, so I feel like that with that sharing there. So the Six of Cups is this with the young and the friends and the, you know, it could be just being lighthearted, right? The simple things, the simple pleasures, right? All right, so let's get some more cards for... Does Capricorn need to look at? Relationships. Making relationships easier to flow better, to become less stressful. Again, I feel like with this card here, I just feel like there may be someone around you that's maybe manipulating you or you feel like you're being manipulated or that is controlling. And I feel like here with the King of Cups, it's like letting that go and having things become easier, especially with the Ace of Cups here where the cup is overflowing, where you're, it's overflowing with positive emotions. But I also am looking at the moon here. So I feel like this is something that's going to take some time. That goes back to the Nine of Pentacles where that's that slow, steady progress where things are slowly getting better. Um, we have Page of Wands communication. I do feel that there is some communication that needs to be had um, with someone um, that I feel will lighten the load that will help you to feel better. I feel like maybe you have some things on your chest or some things on your mind that you want to um, talk to them about and that's why you need that alone time to listen to yourself to figure it out what it is that you want to say to this person and then move forward and take that leap of faith kind of and be like yeah I need to get this out I need to express it and at least if you say your point of view then you've gotten that out and you can see how that person reacts to it right Sometimes it's, it's not even about what the other person has to say, but it's us being able to release things. And then we see how do they react to it. And that almost gives us an answer. If they don't react at all, that gives us an answer. If they react, then what answer is that giving us? You know what I mean? I do feel after you do that, you feel so much better. We have the nine of pentacles. We have the world card. So opportunities, 
things become lighter, things become better. And it's almost like you're having this growing experience within yourself because you're like, wow, before I used to kind of stuff those things down or ignore those or I just let things happen and I didn't, you know, realize that it was hurting me, right? That it, that it was, I was actually hurting myself and that I actually have to learn to take some time to heal for myself, right? And that could bring this relationship, maybe this thing that, you know, that's going on here that, that brings you this partnership better together. But I also feel that if, you know, it gives you more of a grounding energy that you feel better. And like I was said, a learning experience for yourself to just simply love, right? Making things easier, making things better for yourself, that they're not as complicated. Sometimes we just complicate things for ourselves and we need to look at that. We have nurture, nurturing yourself, right? Healing, taking care of yourself, that you can't leave yourself out of the equation. Sometimes we're busy working, you know, looking towards other people. We're trying to make them happy, but you know, we can't forget about us. We, we can't take ourselves out of the equation that we have to take that time to listen to ourselves. And if we need that time, that alone time that we take it so that we can heal. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.